Our top story this hour, President Trump's attempts to replace the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. This morning in his weekly address, Mr. Trump continued to push for a health care plan offered by House Republicans. It was cleared by two congressional committees this week. President Trump said yesterday that action on Obamacare needs to be taken immediately. 17 would be a disaster for Obamacare. That's the year it was meant to explode because Obama won't be here. That was when it was supposed to be. It'll get even worse. As bad as it is now, it'll get even worse. But some conservative Republicans say the House plan falls short. They want bigger changes on repealing Medicaid expansion and on insurance requirements. For more on the Republican push to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, we turn to Michael Feldman. He is a former Democratic staffer, strategist, and a vet of past health care battles on Capitol Hill. Michael, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So the president, it sounds like this bill is moving through the House. Mm -hmm. How much of an uphill climb is it going to be in the Senate and among Senate Republicans? Significant. I mean, the battle you see playing out in the House, the lines that have been drawn among factions in the Republican yep. Party right now are even more difficult in the Senate. And of course, in the Senate, just the way the rules work, uh, there are more places for opposition in the Senate. What the, what the Republicans are trying to do is, is pass this through a process called reconciliation, right. which then allows them to try to get this bill passed with a 50-vote threshold. But in the Senate, they only have two votes to play with. So it's going to be difficult. How key a moment is this for an administration when it has its first major piece of legislation, the president's sort of deal-making prowess, which has been much celebrated, mm -hmm. um, is kind of going to be tested here, isn't it? I mean, yeah. if, if this deal fails to go through, what does that say about this administration? Yeah, it is a big deal. You only have so much political capital as a new president, yeah. and you have to spend it very wisely. So the fact that they chose this as their first major legislative push is a big deal. Look, there are political consequences if he fails, mm. and, by the way, there are political consequences if he succeeds. So it's a very tricky first legislative initiative for him. When we talk about those consequences, Michael, the New York Times reports that some of the voters, some of the people that may be most adversely affected by the GOP's yeah. health care plan are, in fact, Trump supporters. Fifty nine percent of those who would be most adversely affected voted for Donald Trump yeah. in 2016 over Hillary Clinton by 36 yeah. percent. Look, health care is very tricky. And history is littered with the corpses of people who tried, yeah. political yes. corpses of people yes. who tried. On both sides of the aisle. Absolutely. Yeah. And even when you win, sometimes you lose. But here we're talking about tens, potentially tens of millions of people who are impacted by it. Some studies say up to 10 or 15 million people could lose their coverage as a result of this. And to your point, Alex, a lot of them are older, uh, they're less affluent, yeah. and a disproportionate um, a number of them are voted for Trump. And so the political consequences are huge. It'd be vast. You, you've got the conservative website Breitbart even coming out and saying it'll, it could hurt not just Trump's own voters, but will, could hand the White House back to the Democrats. I mean, yeah. when, you, when you've got that and you've got hospitals and doctors coming out against this plan, how much does, does, does a White House want to push against that, and particularly this White House? Well, there are two phases. So right now, I would say everybody is positioning. Yeah. Uh, Democrats are adjusting to their new role as an opposition party. Uh, the, the House and the Senate are trying to govern. It's much easier, by the way, to oppose something than it is to actually propose and Quick pass Michael, something. If you would, I apologize. No worries. And the president is uh, learning how to be a deal maker in a very tricky environment. Yeah, well, and then there's a the question of the Democratic playbook. Do they stand out of the way or is there something they should be doing? They step out of the way while Republicans are fighting amongst themselves. And then they rhetorically remind people about what's at stake in this. Michael Feldman, good to see you. Lots happening on the Hill. Thank you. Thank you.